Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here doing a let's play of Pokemon Fire Red. Let's get right back into this. Let's see where we left off. Ah, we'll leave Lapras out in front. We head down here, around this corner here. This guy is not a trainer, he's a move tutor, and he wants to teach us Rock Slide. Now, in my uh, pre-planned thing, I planned ahead that I wanted one of my Pokemon to learn Rock Slide. Yeah, three guesses which one. It's the, only <laughs> it's the only one of my Pokemon that actually can learn it. It's actually the most powerful rock type move that Rhyhorn can learn is Rock Slide, so I highly recommend that you get it for him, especially if uh, you're raising him as a rock and ground type and you're not just using him for ground type moves. And Rhyhorn learn Rock Slide, alright. Yeah, now don't use it inside the tunnel. Anyway, uh, we need another repel. Use that. Coolio. We'll see if I can get out of here without having another fight. What's up here? Item. Okay. It's a max ether. Ether just restores your power points for one of your Pokemon's moves. Looks like we don't have a choice here. Ugh, camera has to pan up so we can see his little exclamation point. It's so annoying. Dun dun! It's such dramatic music when you get into a battle, like even if you're in a battle with like a random trainer that has like no consequence to the actual plotline, just some guy in a tunnel, and he gets like like overly dramatic music and stuff. It's like real loud, real busy. And you can tell when things are getting serious near the end of the game, because when you get into a fight with a, with a trainer and there's like no sound, or there's like real slow, like quiet music, like dun, 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 dun. You know, it's just like very dramatic, like overly dramatic. And we got four more health points on Lapras. That's good. I think it's gonna be a monster by the time it gets to level 60. Oh, in case I didn't mention it, I was, that's probably about as high as I'm gonna level up most of these. Probably all of them. I'm gonna keep them all at the same level when I go through the, the uh, final four fights and such. What is it doing? It's skipping like crazy. Oh my god, what's going on with my computer? Stop it! I don't like that! I really hope it doesn't show up in the recording, because that sucks. There you go. I'm closing out my other windows. I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. Don't upload and record at the same time, guys. It doesn't work. Alright, now there's a guy here we gotta sneak past. There, go! Sneak past! Yes! Alright, get in the ladder. Ah, oh, another- You're kidding me! Two more required fights?! This is ridiculous, guys! Oh Man. Well... I'm just gonna throw Magnemite- oops. I'm just gonna throw Magnemite out there because it's at the lowest level, the ones that are still awake, or not fainted. Eek! Don't try anything funny in the dark! Okay. I won't. Picnicker Leia. Hey, where's your honey bun hairstyle? That's not Leia. Yeah, whatever. Thunderbolt! It's not very effective. But it's still gonna take it out in two hits. Oh, you. Aha! Uh -huh. Take that. Totally missed. Can you imagine that that was an actually an effective move? If you want to KO. It's a monster, man. Yeah. Clefairy. This is an easy fight. I found that Clefairy just tends to be a like, really weak Pokemon. Wow, I didn't even know that Thunderbolt could paralyze. It probably only has like a 10% chance or something like that, that's why I never know about it. Plus, I usually use it, usually use one in KO moves, because I line up the attack types like that. I don't actually have a fighting type Pokemon, though. Like, I went back and I looked at my, my scheme when I planned things out, and the only type that I cannot deliver a super effective move to at this point is normal types. That's the only, only type that I can't do double on. Because the only uh, type attack, the only attack type that does d double damage to normal types is fighting type. And I don't have a fighting type Pokemon, this is just how it turned out. But really, normal types, they can't deliver a super effective move to any other type, so there's really not an issue there. What is going on with my emulator? It is like, the audio is all scratchy and glitchy. And the 
play speed, he's jumping between like 95 and 50 percent. I really hope it's not going to echo with the recording. And I'm sorry, guys, if this is low quality. This is not like me. I have no, I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, maybe, maybe my computer's running a background task or something. Aw, oh, crap, it's Wednesday, isn't it? My computer is doing a freaking automatic virus scan. That's some BS right there, man. I gotta, I gotta quit. I gotta stop that after this video. I'm not putting up with that, man. It can do that while we're uploading or something. I don't want it to mess with my recording quality. Oh, well. I've got my save state for the beginning of this video, so if I need to refilm it, I can. I hate the way that's... I hate to do that, but... That's my only option. That's what I'm gonna do. Thunderbolt! Yeah, we paralyzed another one. That's good luck there. Thunderbolt! Yeah, it's not very effective, but it kills it. I always thought that was funny. It says it's not very effective no matter how much damage it does. So if you had, like, a level 100 Charizard, and you use Flamethrower on a Squirtle, it's gonna, like, a level 5 Squirtle, it's gonna kill it, but it's gonna say it's not very effective at the bottom of the screen. Just because it's only based on attack type. And I know Metal Sound isn't in there, so I'm gonna get rid of it instead. This paralysis has worked so well for us in this past couple battles. And Magnemite learned Thunder Wave. Alright. Hey guys, I think we're almost there. I think we're near the end of Rock Tunnel. There might not be any more required fights. Oh. I spoke too soon. Bell's effect wore off. Yeah, use another one. I wish there's an option where we could just like it would automatically use the next propel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is like the end though here. Like I think after, I think the door is like right down there, around that corner. So we just gotta get through one more fight. Let's see. Put Executor out there. Let's finish this. Hey, how come I didn't turn towards her? I thought when you got into a trainer fight, your little your little sprite turned towards you over there talking to. Him. That's weird. Is she whispering in my ear. Yeah, psychic. Come on, do it. Now I know once we get out of Rock Tunnel, there are gonna be some trainers wandering around outside. None of them are required fights, but they can get to be annoying because they're the ones that look around and try to find you. So hopefully we can get past those without having to get into any battles. I'm just kind of thinking ahead here. So I'm really getting sick of this. Because I don't like having to show this many, this many required fights in videos, because it just does, it does tend to get monotonous when you're not playing and you're just watching it. But, yeah. That's why I'm going to do my training for these Pokemon off-screen. I know you guys don't want to watch me fight like level 15 auditors over and over again to level up, just do some level grinding. That's not good. That's not good film. All right, I'll see if we can get out of here. Yes, victory! I gotta sneak past these assholes. I think there's one more guy down here. Oh, uh, it's cool to him. Awesome, Lavender Town. Oh, it's amazing. All right, some locations you should note. Uh, this big one up here is the Pokemon Tower. We're gonna go into there later. We got a whole quest line we have to do there. And yeah, our pal wore off. This is the Volunteer House. Uh, that's where Mr. Fuji's gonna take us later on in the game. We haven't met him yet. Oh, spoilers. Psh. But yeah, other than that, I think one of these got. I think one of these houses has a. There's something useful in one of these. I forget what it is. Let's see what this guy does. Oh, he's the Name Raider. Yeah, this guy can change your Pokemon's nicknames. Of course, since all my Pokemon are traded, I can't nickname any of them. But that's the Name Raider's- oh crap. I wanted to look at it, not go in. But that's the Name Raider's house, let's name your Pokemon's nicknames. Let's see what this one is. Who are you? Yeah, uh, she's just setting up a little bit of a plot line. She's talking about Q her Cubone's mother was killed by Team Rocket. Not, not fainted, but killed. Uh, exactly how you do that is unclear to me. But that'll be the next video. Or maybe two videos from now. I don't know if we're going to go into Pokemon Tower yet. I'm ready to get that fourth gym pad so I can level these guys up to level like 35 or 40. Huh. Anyway, this has been Angry Poncho playing Pokemon Fire Red. I'll meet you back here in the next video. See you then.